teach your children to look out for each other because these children could have saved a life by screaming stranger danger at the playground. A group of students at an elementary school in Aurora, Colorado were at recess when a man approached them and attempted to grab one of the students. This person is Solomon Galligan. Um, he came onto the property through the field by the school. The children ran, but Solomon tripped over a white blanket that he was carrying. He got up and continued to try to get the child, but the students screamed. They all screamed, stranger danger. So then the person stopped and went in the other direction. The child told police that the man smelled like alcohol and had white powder all over his face. The school, of course, sent out contact to parents, but they are still worried. More security was implemented, but how do we trust school systems to protect our kids now? Solomon was convicted in 2011 of SA. According to their family, they begged for this person to get resources, mental health resources. Um, Solomon was diagnosed with bipolar and schizophrenia. He allegedly hears voices. We need more resources and programs for mental health for this reason. Um, I mean, we're going to lock him away in jail, of course, where he belongs, but there needs to be resources for cases like this because if we can get help, we can help these situations from happening again. I do want to clarify Solomon was going through a transition, but his family referred to him as him and he, so that is what I have done as well. Um, we don't know all of the specifics of this, but I really hope that this person gets the help that they deserve and need, and I hope that the community gets the resources that they deserve and need, because this was traumatic for the children. Those children need resources now more than ever. They are the victims in this, and they need our help. So how do you believe we protect kids now from this happening again. I mean, I have a child and this frightens me to my core.